Almighty God, pour out your spirit of grace and of supplication on all who desire it. Turn the cold hearts away from unrighteousness and back to you, Lord. Help us to draw near to you and trust in your plan. Amen. Father Ezekiel was sick unto death all day and night. Everyone was praying for him. He really felt like he was dying, but the Lord promised Mother Claire that they would be raptured together, so she stood on that promise. He finally improved and was out of danger. During that time, he experienced the hidden stigmata and passion of Christ, and it was so intense and painful. The next day, the Lord said to him, You're going to interrupt me when I'm about to create my greatest work? Meaning you can't die yet, the big one is about to happen. Ezekiel answered, I thought creation was your greatest work. No, raising my church from the dead will be my greatest work. So Father sought a reading from the Bible promises and got, The same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will give life also to your mortal bodies. And he thought to himself, Raising these mortal bodies in the rapture? Or waking up the church with an outrageous revival and show of supernatural power? The next day, Ezekiel saw three angels with trumpets fly overhead going south, southeast, which would be the Mexican border. This year, the Feast of the Trumpets began on September 7th or 8th. Trumpets were used to begin the battle. He has asked us to put up food for six months, and Our Lady continues to talk about readiness. Mother Claire began, Lord, is there anything you would like to add? My dove. Did I not tell you any minute now? But you still have reservations of fear that you are speaking those words. No, you didn't speak those words. I spoke them and stand by them. Father Ezekiel asked, Lord, your minute or our minute? Your minute was his reply. Mother Claire continued, But Lord, what about the revival? Oh, There will be a revival, all right. Of that you can be sure. But will we not be a part of it? Oh, yes. You will be celebrating in heaven for all the good work left behind that made the way to sustain and fuel the revival. It is your hard work that will be rewarded as revival takes place. I promise you front row seats at this event. You know, heart dwellers, I can never trust myself with words that correspond to what I want. I always fear self-deception, so I opened the Bible promises. My question was, Lord, is this really you? I opened to both pages of joy, and this scripture stood out immediately. For you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall sing praise before you, and all the trees of the country shall clap their hands. Isaiah 55, 12. Oh, Lord, this is too wonderful. It is for me too, my bride. I am so excited there are simply no words for what is going to happen. Thank you for the confirmation, Lord. I understand your caution, and it is a good example for all of my heart dwellers. Is there anything else you want to say? The Lord continued. Any minute gives you a sense of timing, but the minute must be called by my Father, so hold on through all the turbulence. Lift up your heads and see that your redemption draws nigh. Be a good witness. Continue to pray and labor for souls. This is my greatest desire, so pray for conversions and that the laborers will be willing to work in the harvest fields. Lord, I do not understand the dreams and cards that conflict with an immediate rapture. Can you please explain this to me? I have given you visions of what I shall raise from the ashes that Satan has made of my people. He has murdered the purity of my church, and the visions and dreams are an inspiration of how I will resurrect my people and church from the ash heap. These are to give you a sense of forward motion so you can feel the purity and see also the opposition. Your part in all of this is to pray. Pray now. Pray in heaven. Pray always and forever until every soul is saved.
Mother Claire went to her card file with over a thousand Rhema cards and pulled, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, Husband, receive your bride. Amen.